those howling winds and heavy rains, our news team was anxious to find out exactly how much damage was left behind. Here's what I found when I set out this afternoon. This is as far as the road would take us as we drove through eastern New Providence into St. Andrews Beach Estates. And you can see the big uh, obstruction in our way, this cedar tree, which seems to have been totally uprooted and has fallen across this street uh, just across from the beach. Uh, other indicators of Hurricane Matthew's wrath, if you look over to uh, this side, you can see the level of uh, flooding here. If we just walk over, we can see that um, at least maybe uh, six inches, six to 12 inches of water, perhaps at the highest point uh, down here. Uh, look straight ahead, look at that roof, shingles shearing off. And if you look off in the distance, uh, blue vehicle uh, nearly halfway submerged in water. And that uh, seems to uh, be the narrative all around in Eastern New Providence. Of course, one of the places where forecasters warned of those very dangerous sea surges. And as you can see, we're seeing uh, the results of that as Hurricane Matthew continues to move out of our area and onto the Berry Islands and Grand Bahama.